Craig, the Islamic Center of Omaha says in a time of what they call Islamophobia across the country, they're hoping to put an end to crimes like the vandalism you see behind me for good. A boarded up side door covers a shattered window Monday after the Islamic Center of Omaha near 73rd and Pinckney was vandalized over the weekend. Mohammed Rashid, chairman of Omaha's largest mosque, says a cleaning crew discovered the destruction Sunday afternoon. Surveillance video from the center shows around 3.30 Sunday morning, two people started throwing stones at a side door window. When that didn't work, Rashid says a 40-pound boulder came next. Yeah, it was kind of shocking for most of the people. In fact, on that day, um, there is a class which goes on on Sunday, and most of the students were here. And they were kind of shocked. Uh, Rashid says the mosque, which has served the metro's Muslim community for the last 30 years, has never been the victim of vandalism until now. But Ibrahim Hooper with the Council on American Islamic Relations, the nation's largest Muslim civil rights organization, says the attack was not an accident. That's why they're calling for the FBI to investigate the incident as a possible hate crime. It's only logical to consider a bias motive when people go out at 3 in the morning and attack a house of worship, particularly at a time when we've seen a tremendous rise in anti-Muslim sentiment in our society. Adam Henderson lives across the street from the center and says he plans to be more aware of what's going on in the neighborhood. Try to watch out a little bit more. Since that happens, it can happen to anybody. If it's not a hate crime, they can break into our cars or... Whatever. While the Islamic Center says the incident serves as a platform to educate non-Muslims about their faith, Henderson says it's an important reminder that the Omaha community still has a long way to go when it comes to ending discrimination. Oh, but if it's a hate crime, that's a shame. You've got to get over it. It's modern day. Now, OPD tells us they are investigating this case and looking into possible hate crime charges if the suspects are caught. Until then, they say they do plan to step up patrols in the area. Of course, if you have any information on who the suspects may be, they ask that you give them a call. Reporting live from 73rd and Pinkney, Andrea Flores, KMTV Action 3 News.